Mako, this is not. That is not how we do things. Young man, your actions allowed us to escape our earlier our earlier predicament without harm. This places us in your debt for which we are now repaying you. Mako, do the magic. Okay. The younger girl walked forward and placed her hands upon the locked door of the cell. She began mumbling something that I could only even begin I couldn't even begin to understand. And her hands began to glow brightly, but we can't see that because stagnant images. The glow flared for a moment, but quickly, uh, before quickly fading, there was a hiss and then a sizzle as the lock dripped uh, to the floor in a mess of melted metal. All right, so uh, it looks like uh, the lesbians are now helping us escape. She is quite gifted, but as I said. We are here to settle a debt. If you would like, we can escort you back to the forest where we first encountered you. I do, however, suggest that you decide quickly. The guards do not bathe for long. I should know. I observed them for a while. She is a lesbian. That is confirmed. Lead the way, peeping Tammy. Machiki, uh, Machiko Sakurano Mac Oh my god, these names. Takahiro, but I uh, suggest we keep the introductions for later. Very well then, Takun. Takakun. Let's get out of here. Thieves, crazy fox kleptomaniacs. I don't know why I don't know why I didn't get that word there at first. Can we get out of here? Oh, this music again. Wonderful. The doll That's pretty much what happened? According to the village elder, there's supposed to be a shrine somewhere in the forest. It must be the same one I visited because I got before I got caught up in this mess. Goodness, that sounds like a terrible situation. I know that spirit, such as t uh, Suyuri, Suyuri, yeah. Uh, I would speak with her myself, but we're uh, fox spirits aren't allowed near the shrine, huh? I thought the reason we uh, never go there is because you get all flustered whenever uh, Su -chan, Su Chan's around. Sh shut up, Mako! <sighs> She's so gay. So gay. Come on, ladies, gaities, let's go. I don't want to read this, I just want to get back to my time! <laughs> Huh? I thought you were leading the way. Wait, I think if we turn this way, cut through the trees here, we might... Ah! The girl seemingly disappeared out of sight as she... Uh, as she stepped in between two tall trunks, only to be followed by a loud splash. I ran towards the trees and looked down to see the girl, arms flailing wildly, neck deep in a slow-moving river. Ah! One-sama! One-sama! Quick, please! You have to help her. I'm begging you. I'll do whatever you want. Just oh, oh. Uh, I can already tell where that's gonna go. Swimming, uh, smiling weakly, I pull off my jacket and dove into the river. The cold water sending shivers down my spine as I swam towards Machiko, who, despite the lack, of uh, despite the lack of the strong current, was slowly disappearing under the water. Urged by the worried shouts of Mako, I tried to reach the girl as quickly as possible. It took me a few strokes before I reached her, but by the time I grabbed a hold of her to pull her out of the water, she had lost consciousness. She's not breathing! I felt my stomach drop, dreadfully, uh, dreadfully or dreadful thoughts of what might happen if I do not do something. CPR. I don't know what that is. She's not breathing. Help her, please. Save her. One-sama. Please wake up. Okay. But and you need to concentrate. Can you find something to dry her off with? Right. Great. A mage on <laughs> a revive spell. Come on. Wake her up. My heart pounded faster and faster as I looked down at the fox girl. I could feel my cheeks heating up and blushes. Oh my god. Clumsily, I put her into what I hoped was the right position, and slowly I lowered myself towards her face. My lips parted. Okay! <clears throat> so this is happening now. Okay, so I'm not... Oh. Cheesy porn music. 
I don't know if she's actually a lesbian. I don't, uh, I don't know what's going on here. But, um, no one does a sexy pose like that after almost drowning. I can guarantee you that. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god, is she- she's egging me on! Don't make me toss you back into the river. Aw, oh, such a shame. I was looking forward to finding out just how sweet your lips taste- Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, what? What? What am I reading? This is smut! Is this even allowed to be on YouTube? Oh no. Can, can, can we, can we? Uh, I, uh, I can barely focus on the blonde fox. As the blonde fox began to fuss over me, but it was no good. Between running my butt off all day with the cinder tyrant, I always forget how to say that. Following rescue and now the blow to the head, I felt myself slip unconscious. Later that day, three dots, six dots, ten dots. For a moment, I wondered if what it could be like. Well, what it what it could be. Little did I know that whatever it was, I would soon be very much awake. Oh, I'm just gonna let this um. I'm gonna get- this is gonna get flagged! This is- oh no. <sighs> Nick, why did you- why? Can- can, um... Can- can I- can, can we- Maybe it'd be best if I, uh, just, I just quit. <sighs> Alright. Ah, Takahiro, you're awake. Shh, don't wake Onisama. She's a light sleeper, and she'll be super ti She's been super tired lately. Uh. Oh my god. Can I, can I skip this? The less time I'm on the scene, the better. Lest I have to hear this music, the better. There hasn't even been any choices or anything. This is just... Can we... Can I... Can I... Can I... Uh, okay, there we go. <sighs> oh, boy. The younger girl scrambled to her feet and dashed out of the room f at full speed, her tail comically hanging in between her legs as she did. I turned to Maki uh, Machiko with a faint blush on my face, averting my eyes so she could pull the sheets back up around herself. Ah! I, I see you're finally awake, Machiko-san. With you two making such a fuss about Chudo. What? Oh, Judo. And Sue, how could I possibly hope to get any sleep? I'm glad to see that you are well, Takakun. Forgive me for taking such measures, but I feared that I wasn't gonna getting warm fast enough, and I didn't. And I did what I thought was necessary. At least it was more enjoyable to sleep, enjoyable sleep than you would have had in a cell. I doubt that Cinder Tyrant was it. I doubt she would have given you the same service. Um, yeah, but that service isn't allowed on YouTube, so let's not let's not do that. Uh, l let's just say the hospitality was a much uh, appreciated. I'm glad to hear that. If you like to change, there's a screen over there. I promise I won't look. Of course. Yeah, I guess one of us has to. I watched my. Machiko close her eyes, hiding her face in her hands as if to reassure me that she wouldn't peek. Taking my chances, I climbed out 
from under the blanket and made my way towards the wooden screen. Once I reached it, I quickly began changing.